were you able to speak with uh, Ice Camp earlier this morning? My name is uh, Osa Renemann. I'm a professor at Rutgers University in New Jersey, and I study the Greenland Ice Sheet. The first time I came to Greenland was in 1995. I was an undergraduate student at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark, and I got an opportunity to go on a month-long field course to uh, Western Greenland. And what I really found fascinating about Greenland is this beautiful open landscape where you can see the tundra. Um, if you're lucky, you'll see reindeer and hares and musk ox, foxes. And, uh, and you just get so close to nature here because nature dominates Greenland. The planet is warming because of carbon dioxide that humans have emitted to the atmosphere. This, the ice is very sensitive to, to those temperature changes. One of the most notable effects is the impact on global sea levels. I've worked in this area for 10 years now. You can actually just walk up on the ice here and you can find uh, features uh, on the ice sheet surface that are similar to those you find further inland. You find streams, melt ponds, streams that are on the Greenland ice sheet. Those are the actual conduits of meltwater that eventually is transported to the ocean. So what I and my colleagues are trying to do is trying to quantify how much meltwater is flowing in these streams and uh, and we want to try and understand how well models capture that flow. So we study meltwater outflow in small areas with the hope to learn something about how good the models are to simulate this flow and actually improve the models and then use the models to say something about the, the loss of water from the entire Greenland ice sheet.